Hello there, fellow YouTubers. Daddy out here again from Dadventure TV. So as you can see, it is a rather rainy, yucky day out here in Washington, D.C. So we're trying to have a little adventure today. Uh, one of the things that you can do for adventure is go get some unique food somewhere. Uh, today I'm out here uh, getting some Korean food in Chevy Chase on Brookville Road uh, next to the Brookville Market there's a little diner place that's owned by a Korean family so not only do they have good traditional uh, American breakfast foods like uh, egg sandwiches and things like that but they also have uh, yummy Korean food bulgogi and bibimbap good kimchi um, so uh, so that's it. I'm just by myself here, but I'm going to add a little adventure to my life, and uh, we're going to see what happens. Oh my goodness gracious! Wait a minute. Who was that? Yeah, that Who's back there? No, <laughs> Come on in. Get back in. All right. So this is uh, Jonathan, my son, fellow YouTubers. Uh, he is actually with me, so we decided, like I said, to add a little adventure to go get a little adventure, some food. So uh, we're going to pause now. We'll pick it up when we get inside. Okay, well, uh, adding to our adventure today, we went and they are closed on Sundays. It's called Olympia Cafe. Um, they're open Saturdays, uh, but not Sundays, which is kind of weird because brunch is a perfect Sunday thing, right? Any rate, uh, there is a... <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing back there. I think that a little more adventurous. That was definitely adventuresome. Uh, there's a place, a Korean food place now in... Um, uh, just south of Friendship Heights uh, and north of Tenley Town um, near uh, uh, DC Taco. It's called Soul City or Soul Cafe or something like that. Um, so we're going to head over there and uh, see what that is. Um, so we'll pick up our adventure when we get over there. And before we end, before we end it, we're going to get a little... Uh, getting a little music here. It's kind of a deep sound. I think, I think you just made a bass, Jonathan. All right, we'll was, that was that a good way to end it? That was a good way. All right, we'll pick back up when we get to the uh, other restaurant. All right, so we're back. We are at the other restaurant. It's on Wisconsin Avenue. And, is uh, it open? Uh, we think it's open. It looked open when we drove by it, at least. No, so, I'm looking out window now. You, you, uh, that's District Taco. That's not the Korean place. Would you look at that? <laughs> Jonathan's looking at District Taco, which, by the way, is another very good place if you want a little adventure. Uh, if you want to do a south of the border adventure, District Taco has yummy, yummy tacos and lots of salsas that are really cool. Uh, but today it's a Korean adventure for us. So let's go, Jonathan. All right, so we're back, YouTubers. Uh, this is Jonathan's rice bowl. Uh, they call it bibimbap because it is kind of like a make your own bibimbap. You can see you get a uh, rice. He did not go as adventuresome as he could have. They have purple rice. We don't really know what purple rice exactly I is. Know. And he got, yep, he got some Korean hot sauce on the side um, with the uh, bulgogi beef and uh, sirop, creamy sriracha sauce on top. Some kimchi there, some um, Korean radish, uh, kale, carrots. I got the Korean tacos. Yep, I got two bulgogi and beef and one chicken and pretty much everything I could on any, them. Any rice? Uh, no rice. Now, we also got our glasses. You can see they say soul spice on them. Mm -hmm. Show me, Jonathan. Soul spice. Yep. And let's see what the juices are that they have. There we go. I didn't see those there. Yeah, so you have pressed apple and kale. You'd probably like that, buddy. Uh, black cherry hibiscus iced tea, yuzu honey lime tea. I think Izu honey lime tea. What about me? What do you want? I think you try, try a little of that. I think you'd like it. It's probably gonna taste like apple juice. What do you think? No. <laughs> try the honey lime tea. Apparently, Jonathan did not I'm like the pressed apple. Uh, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, that honey lime tea job was really good. Try this. Try this. 
I'm gonna try that pressed kale. What say you? Okay. Still about this. Yeah, the apple is less apple than I thought. I think I'm gonna do go that one too. All right. There's Jonathan trying the first bite. Come on, Pat. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, tell me what you got. Just tell us what you think of the first bite. You need another bite to try? Yeah. To test? He takes his job very seriously, everybody. What do you think? I, I got a little rice. Oh, a little yeah. rice. Mm. He is like a professional food critic. What do you think? Thumbs up? All right. Jonathan gives, gives it the thumb up of approval. Now, for me, am I in the picture? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. I'd let Jonathan hold it, except that would require him to stop eating for five seconds, which is like taking a glass of water from a man who's dying of thirst. Let's see, this is the chicken one. Mmm. Good. The chicken is good. It's supposed to be like free range, antibiotic free and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Sauce is nice. Messy. Tacos or corn tacos are good. So, I definitely give it a thumbs up. Mm, honey lime uh, iced tea or something. It's good. All right. So, Jonathan and I'm Daddio. Give Soul, Soul Spice on Wisconsin Avenue. Thumbs up. All right, so we are home from our uh, Korean food adventure on a rainy day in DC. See if you can see out the window there. Kind of uh, just a gray, dreary, rainy day. I actually need to go into work in a little bit. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, maybe it gives you some ideas uh, of some, something to do if you're looking for a little adventure. Like I say, I think sometimes uh, if you just define it as an adventure, it becomes one. And food, I think, is a great way to have an adventure. Uh, food can really take you to a different place. Uh, if you are getting Korean food, you um, get a little taste of the culture. Um, you know, you could stop at a library and get a book on uh, Korean um, folklore or a kid's story, a Korean kid's story or something that you could then read. Um, find it on a globe or a map, um, go online and find some statistics about it. Um, so you can kind of uh, turn, a, turn the restaurant that you're going to and the type of food into a little learning experience too for the kids. So anyway, that's it for the t today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed meeting Jonathan. I'm sure he'll pop up in more videos. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what this channel is about, please hit subscribe. And look forward to uh, seeing you guys and being with you again. Oh, wait a minute. Here he comes. Yeah. You want to be on? Yeah. No. He just walked over. But I think, I think he's done being a YouTube star for the day. See you guys.